Hi, my name is Jordan Dolman. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for National Instruments Digitizers and Oscilloscope Cards. And today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, jitter measurements using the new LabVIEW Jitter Analysis Toolkit. Okay, so what we're doing here uh, is actually generating a, a simulated digital signal using the Jitter Analysis Toolkit uh, and then using uh, more of the VIs in the toolkit in order to analyze the signal. So you can see here a nice perfect square wave uh, and then an eye diagram with absolutely no jitter, just perfect edges. Uh, and so using the toolkit, we're going to introduce uh, random jitter, uh, which you can see is now represented down here in this histogram, uh, as well as uh, a widening of the, um, of the transition area uh, in the eye diagram, uh, and then certainly reflected in the, in the bathtub plot down below. Uh, we can remove that random jitter, uh, and then swap it out for some deterministic jitter, uh, in this case, it's actually uh, sinusoidal jitter uh, that we uh, were generating here. Deterministic, once again, um, increasing the, the width of the transition area for the eye diagram. Uh, and, and we can actually go ahead and one by one add in uh, the random jitter components and then uh, inner symbol interference and duty cycle distortion, uh, which actually you'll, you'll only see, see this if we, if we change from a square wave over to a data signal that has uh, uh, different types of transitions rather than back and forth uh, between ones and zeros. And, and so the idea here is that you can not only use the LabVIEW Jitter Analysis Toolkit in order to analyze uh, and, and understand and hopefully remove jitter from your, your signals, um, but you can also generate a signal using the toolkit in order to validate that all of your measurements are set up correctly. And, uh, and this Jitter Analysis Toolkit is uh, compatible with not only NI digitizers, uh, but any type of uh, oscilloscope or digitizer products on the market. Uh, so it's a really unique uh, and flexible API uh, that we've added to the LabVIEW platform. And that's about it for the demo. Thank you so much for your time.